devil talking that slick talk with a pitchfork, leaving wise men real pissed off. They came in one hand, swinging blades of a sword. The other hand, man, they gave us the cross. We got sucker punched. But in the end, show sure enough, eating that sucker's lunch. Israel, we in for a fight, so you better knuckle up. Guard your grill, make sure that you bob and weave. It's that fervent heat coming out of World War III. It's the type of bombs make your bones crack and your flesh melt. The fall of Esau, Moab, and Ishmael. I can't wait to see chariots doing fish tails. And we gon' watch this place burn just like a lit grill. An astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations. Now the Negroes have become bywords. You've become blacks. You've become niggers. You've become coons. Read it from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. Go ahead. And thou shalt become an astonishment. You're an astonishment. The other nations look at you and, and are astonished. You can become a proverb. You wanna hide something from a nigga? Put it in a book. Right. You can become a proverb. There's many wise saying about the Negro. The Negro loves chicken and watermelon. The Negro can't resist watermelon. Go ahead. And a byword. And you've become a byword. You've become black. You've become nigga. You're not calling yourself these names that the Most High God gave you. You're not calling yourself Judah. You're not calling yourself Benjamin. You're not calling yourself Levi. You're not calling yourself the Israelites. Go ahead. Among all nations. Among wherever you are, these people got a proverb and a byword for you. Go ahead. Whether the Lord shall lead thee. Throughout the whole earth, wherever you are. Go ahead. Get on uh, back to 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28. Verse 46. Go ahead. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So these things were put upon you for a sign. These things were put upon you to let you know who you are. But the Negro don't 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 even realize. Get get Isaiah. Get Isaiah 1, verse 3. The Negro don't realize, they don't even consider their contempt and their low state. Your contempt and becoming a base people. Right. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 3. Go ahead. The ox knoweth his owner. The Bible says an ox know his owner. Go ahead. And the ass his master's crib. Now these two dumb animals, they know their owner and they know their crib. Meaning they know their homeland. They know where to go back to. Go ahead. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans don't know their master, and they don't know their homeland. Go ahead. My people do not consider. So right here, this is letting you know that the so-called Jewish are not the true people of the Bible. Right, right. They say that the Israelites don't even consider that they're Israelites. Read that again. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. Go ahead. Uh-huh. And the ass his master's crib. But what? But Israel. But the Israelites do it not know. They don't know. My people do it not consider. And God's people don't consider who they are before. Verse 4. A sinful nation. A what? A sinful nation. You blacks and Hispanics are a sinful nation. You continually break. Lord. That's right. right. Go ahead. A people laden with iniquity. You're laden with sin. Go ahead. A seed of evildoers. You've become a seed of evildoers. Go ahead. Children that are corruptors. Go ahead. They have forsaken the Lord. You've forsaken God's law. So again, this only applies to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Go ahead. They have provoked the whole of Israel unto anger. Go they are gone away backwards. You've gone away backwards. You blacks and 
Hispanics are getting worse. Yearly, you've, you're getting worse. You're killing each other more. Run. You're using more drugs. Run. Your rap music is becoming more pro, more profane. You got something? Drop your pop. Yeah. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 29. Go ahead. And thou shalt grow at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. You started 28. Verse 28. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The what? The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord will smite you with madness. Bring it out. The Lord allowed you to go up and down these streets walking drunk at noonday. Go ahead. And blindness and astonishment of heart. What are you blind to? The fact that you're an Israelite. That's right. Are you supposed to be keeping God's law? Right. And you are holy. You're better than everybody else. That's right. You're blind to that fact. Go ahead. And thou shalt grow at noonday. Go ahead. As the blind groweth in darkness. As the blind groweth in darkness. Go ahead. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. You're not gonna prosper in your ways. Get uh, 29 and 9. You're not gonna prosper in your ways. Nothing that you do prosper you. Selling drugs don't prosper you. Right. It just keep you coming back to sell drugs. That's right. You make enough money to buy Jordans. Go ahead. Deuteronomy 29 verse 9. Go ahead. Keep therefore the words of this covenant and do them. You're supposed to keep God's laws and do God's laws. Go ahead. That ye may prosper. Then that's when you prosper. When you keep the most high God's word. Not when you go to, it ain't safe when you go to Sunday school and give up an offering. Read it from the top. Deuteronomy 29 verse 9. Go ahead. Keep therefore the words of this covenant. When you keep God's laws. When you keep God's laws. And do them. And do God's laws. And God's laws, it tells you not to be an effeminate. That's not right. Not to be a sodomite. Right. But you transgressed it. You've gone away backward. You have put no difference between God's holy things and the profane things. Right. That's, That's right. right. That's supposed to be a man. That's supposed to be a warrior. Right. That's supposed to be upset at that. When y'all see that, y'all supposed to be upset. He's breaking God's laws. And so are you showing your ass off. Right. That makes no damn sense, bro. Right. Polluting your body. Right. Go ahead. That ye may prosper in all that ye do. You're supposed to keep God's laws. Then will you prosper. Then we will get out this low state that we're in. Go ahead. Go, go back to that 28 again. Deuteronomy 28, verse 28. Go ahead. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The most high God has smitten primarily our elderly with madness. Why? Because they fell us. Go ahead. And blindness and astonishment of heart. You've become an astonishment. Go ahead. And thou shalt grow at noonday. Go ahead. As the blind gropeth in darkness. You hear that? Go ahead. And thou shalt not prosper in thy way. You're not prospering in your ways. Alcoholism no. is destroying you. Man, not Go ahead. And thou shalt be only oppressed uh -huh. and be spoiled evermore. Now that 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 alcohol that you're relying on is spoiling you. It's oh. oppressing you. Go ahead. And no man shall save thee. And no man is gonna save you from his, from this addiction until you turn and keep God's laws. Go ahead. That's it. Give me uh. Hey, give me axe. You got a question? Hey, bro. You got a question? Go ahead. Don't the Bible say judge and judge and not? Judge and judge. Give me uh First Corinthians five. In verse verse two, six, 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 six and two. This is this is uh what the Bible prophesies that Esau looks like. Right. Like, we'll, we'll get that for you. We'll get that for you. That's his biblical name, right? He's not he's not white. He's, he's what the Bible describes describe him as a red man. You understand? So he's not a white man. 
See, as, as you can see, he's red. That's what the Bible says. All right, get that. First Corinthians chapter six, verse two. Hey, bro, listen to this. Go ahead. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? You hear that? It says the saints, meaning God's chosen people is going to judge the world. Go ahead. Right? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Now it's saying if we're gonna judge the whole world, how are we able? Or how are we not able to judge a small matter? Like telling you smoking is the following your temple. That's right. That's a, that's a small matter to judge. So the Bible's letting you look, letting us know that we can judge. Right. Romans thir fourteen and thirteen. Get that. Go ahead. Romans 13 verse 14, 14, 14. Go ahead. Romans 14 verse 13. Hey, bring it up. up. Let us not therefore judge one another. You hear that? That's what you're saying, right? Go ahead. Anymore. Go ahead. But judge this rather. Hmm. Uh -huh. That no man put a stumbling block uh -huh. or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. So, it's saying, read it from the top. Let us not therefore judge one another uh -huh. anymore. Go ahead. But judge this rather. But judge this rather. Go ahead. That no man put a stumbling block or... That, that stumbling block is Christianity. What? Right. You that we can't judge. If I can't judge and show you that you're in wrong, what, what do we, what do we, this is what we become. At the bottom. You understand? Go ahead. Or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Now, all of the, all of those things that Christianity has, has, has teached us is making us become destroyed. Better. We're not becoming better. You We're worse. We, you, that's right. We're becoming destroyed. Huh? It's off old Nat. Old National. Across the flea market. Hey, bro. Hey, hey brother. Bro. Do you know what judging is? You know what the definition of that is? Judging is, is, is basically, we're judging by God's laws, so we can't judge. Look at 1 Corinthians 2, 15. We can judge, the Bible tells you to judge each other, because guess what? If you you got a daughter, you got kids? Okay, let's say, okay, you got nephews and nieces. If a brother rapes your niece, how do you feel about that? You won't like it. Are you gonna like that? No. I, I for I, right? So wait a minute, you just said you can't judge. So you would be judging that man, yes or no? You see, Christianity teaches us, oh, you can't judge, let everybody do whatever the hell they want. Yeah. That is Christianity. That's right. That is the devil's, that's the devil's philosophy. Oh, that's right. right. My brothers keep going. That's, we gonna get that, you're right. Read it. First Corinthians, so child. Now, we're gonna read what the Bible says, not what no Christian pastor says, but what God says. Read. Chapter 2, verse 15. Bring it up. But he that is spiritual. He that is what? Spiritual. So it's talking about a spiritual man, right? A spiritual man is going to be keeping God's laws. That's right. It all goes back to keeping God's laws. Right. If we're not keeping God's laws, brother, if you look around, this is the state. And we're happy in that state. We're happy in the matrix. Okay? Read. Judges all things. What does the spiritual man do? Judges all things. So the spiritual man can judge all things. That's right. That's what the Bible just said. Right. You can judge, okay? By us not judging small matters, now your community's going to piss. That's right. Your community looks like hell. Hello? You don't notice that? You're at the bottom of society? Right. You got black men killing black men every night in the hood? Right. You can't judge that? You got ne Negroes selling drugs across the street. You can't judge that. Right. But the difference is we cannot pass judgment. Judgment is from the Most High just God. So we come out here warning our way. people to get out of sin because God is going to put each and every one of you to death. That's right. right. If you don't come back to God's laws. That's right. 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 Read it again. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Some things. All 
things. A little bit of things. All things. So the Bible says we can judge all things. Titus 2 and 15. Bring it out. The Bible says, come out here and judge all things. That's what God said. Right. He didn't say nobody could judge me. Only God could judge me. Only God can judge me is not in the Bible. That's, That's right. That's white man's philosophy. That's what it is. Read. Titus 2, verse 15. Bring it out. These things yeah. speak. What? These things speak. God said these things speak, brother. The Bible. We got to speak the Bible. We're coming out of God's word. That's why everybody hates us. Because we come out of God's word. Not our own vain opinion. But what God said. In the Christian church, they don't go by God's words. They go by the pastor's words. They go by man's philosophy. Who taught our pastors, brother? Okay, let me ask you a question. All right, that's good. That's a, that's good. Don't go to church because they're brainwashing them buildings where they give they up do. all their money to the they pastor they to pay his bills. That's what is going they on do. in the church. They, they don't go through the scriptures do. in the church. They do. They do. Say it again. Speak. Say, say it to the camera again, brother. Say it again. Okay, just say it louder. Say it louder. My auntie body wash. Yes, Look at that. That's a part of her times. Right. The brother said his his auntie buys the pastor body wash and toiletries and shampoo. Right. Where in the scripture is that? Right. Where is that in the Bible? It's not. They, say it again, brother. The brother said he is extorting his aunt. Mm. That's what Christianity is. is it's right. taking the money out of the black community, right. giving it to the damn pastor. Right. That's right. It's a church on the corner, like the liquor store. Thank you, and brother. There's churches, there's liquor stores, and, and Chinese restaurants all in your neighborhood, in every black neighborhood. Mm. Read it again. Titus 2, verse 15. These things speak and exalt. Rebuke with all authority. Read it again properly. Titus 2, verse 15. These things speak. So we're speaking God's words. And exhort. And rebuke with all and, authority. And, what? and rebuke. And rebuke, meaning correct. We ought to correct our brothers and sisters with what? With all authority. We have the authority of the Most High God right. to come out here and rebuke you. Rebuke your right. brothers and sisters. Why? Because you're in the middle of sin. Hello? You're at the bottom. Brother, what's your nationality? I'm a human. That's a nationality? Is that a nation of people? I don't care about the nation. Yeah, exactly. That's why, we go, that's why we're at the bottom now. Right. Your Negroes like that. Right. What's your nationality, okay, brother? I'll tell you. Haitian. You're Haitian? Haitian. Let me talk to you real quick. Come get, let me ask you a question. What's your, what's, what, what is God called? Does God call you Haitian? Because Haitian is from your slave master. You understand? Haitian is the name from your slave master. Just like African Americans are from our slave master. Just like Jamaican is from our slave master. All these names are slave masters. Slave master names. Right? So, who are you according to God? I'm a God of child. You're what? God of child. You're a God of child. Yeah. Is that what you are? A, a God of child or a child of God? Child of God. Give me 1 John 3 and 12. Bring it out! Let's find out. How do you know you're a child of God and not a child of the devil? Oh man, since I was born. Yeah. Huh? Since I was born. <laughs> how do I belong to God? How do you know that? So if you belong to God, you would do what God told you to do, right? Yes. Okay, read that. 1 John chapter 3, verse 12. Not as Cain, who no, no, sort of ten. Verse ten. Get close, brother. In this, the children of God. The who? The children of God. So it says, in this, the children of God are manifest. Are manifest. This is how you're gonna know who the children of God are. Read. And the children of the devil. And who? The children of the devil. So it's also talking about the children of the devil. So it's talking about the children of God and the children of the devil. Read. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. What? Whosoever doeth not righteousness. You're, you're listening, brother? And now it's saying, whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. Is not of God, brother. Are you are you righteous? No. So that means you're not the child of God. That's what that just said. Read it again. Listen close. First John chapter 3, verse 10. In this, the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever doeth not righteousness is 
is not of God. You hear that, brother? So you got to be doing righteously. What does it mean to be righteous? You know what I want. You know what, what, what the Bible out. says about righteousness? You know what it says? What does it say? What does it say, brother? Do you know what it is to be righteous, brother? You do all the right things, the right choices. What's the right things? Uh, it's an act. It's a... Uh, Right what do you say, brother? What does it mean to be righteous? What does God say about being righteous? Truth. So, wait, hold on. I want to run. What does it mean to be righteous? Righteous is um, all, all the things that uh, God's law. Thank you. That's what it means to be righteous. You got to be keeping God's laws. Run. Let's don't take my word for it. Don't take the brother's word for it. Let's see what God says. Read Deuteronomy 6, verse 25. And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be what? Our righteousness. Now we're talking about righteousness, right? Like you mentioned, you have to be righteous. Read. If we observe to do all these commandments. What? If we observe to do all these commandments. So you got to be doing all God's commandments to be considered righteous. Go back to 1 John. Now let's read it again. Now you know what is it to be righteous. Do you know? No. Did you not just hear what we just read? Did you hear that? Don't put your phone down, brother. The Bible's more listen. important than your phone. What does it mean to be righteous? I don't know. Did you not hear what we just read? I hear what you just read. I don't know. It said keeping God's commandments is how you be righteous. Right. So now read First John again. First John chapter three verse ten. Bring it up. Are you listening? You don't really want the answer from God, do you? We know. We know, brother. Read it again. In this, the children of God are manifest. Read. And the children of the devil. So the brother came up saying he's the God of child. He didn't even say he's a child of God. He said he's the God of child. Nonsense. Right. You're not a child of God anyway. If you ain't keeping God's laws, you are not a child of God. Right. That's what the Bible says. Right. Read. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. If you're not keeping God's laws, that's what it means to be righteous. Is not of God. You ain't of God. Guess what? You are not of God. Read. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Neither if you don't love your brother, because Negroes kill each other every night in the ghetto. You don't love your brother, so you ain't of God. Read. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning. So this is the message that we heard from the beginning. Read. That we should love one another. That what? We should love one another. That we should love one another, and love is keeping God's laws, not being a sodomite. Read. Right. Read. Verse 12, not as Cain. Not as Cain, because some of you, you've been defiled with Cain or Esau or the so-called white man. You That's right. You're, you're, you have his philosophy in your head. You got the white man's philosophy in your head to kill your own brother. Guess what? They killed you in slavery. They, they forced self-hatred on you. Y'all don't know that by now, and y'all still kill each other. The, the clan ain't got to kill you no more. They sit back, they on vacation running their companies, okay? They got dumb Negroes in the hood to kill each other. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. Now you're just white supremacy on cruise control. Right. That's all you are. You're just cruising along in white supremacy. Hmm. Just bypassing the time. You're not trying to get yourself out of your condition. You're, you, you're happy in your condition, and you don't even know you're in your condition. You come out here all, every Saturday doing nothing all day. That's right, bring it out. All day, old and young. So what example does the young man have when the old man is on the block with him? Right. Hmm. You don't care, do you, brother? We know. Read it, read on. Who was of the wicked one? And read soon... it on the top, 12. First John chapter 3 verse 12. Read it up. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. And slew his brother. Cain slew his brother Abel. Okay? He slew his brother. He was the first murderer. Now you got his philosophy in your head. You're defiled. Huh. You're defiled with his philosophy. You're defiled with his holiday. You're defiled. Shalom, this I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. 
YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.